Let x1 up to xn be a random sample, this time from a uniform 0, 1 population. Find the distribution of the largest of the values, that is the nth order statistic. Well, the previous one had an exponential population. This one has a uniform population. The previous example wanted the smallest, and this wants the distribution of the largest. So in this particular case, the population distribution, which is the uniform 0, 1 distribution, has a probability density function, f of x, is 1 for x values between 0 and 1. Furthermore, the population distribution has a cumulative distribution function, capital F of x, which is 0 for x values less than or equal to 0, x for x values between 0 and 1, which is the support, and 1 for x values which are greater than or equal to 1. So using the result from a few slides ago, the probability density function of the maximum of n values turns out to be n times the cumulative distribution function evaluated at x sub n, that quantity raised to the n minus 1 power times f of x sub n. So putting these pieces together for this particular distribution, here is the n. This right here is the CDF evaluated at x sub n. So that is just going to be x sub n raised to the nth power times the probability density function evaluated at x sub n. That's 1, so that's easy. And you're done. And the support will go from a to B, which in this case is from 0 to 1. So the maximum can lie anywhere between 0 and 1. And there is the probability density function. Now there's a little bit of room on the next page, and let me go ahead and draw a few pictures of that. If you were to look at that distribution, here is Xn. And xn, the maximum, of course, can lie between 0 and 1. And here is fxn of xn. And in the case of n equals 1, it's right here, that would be a single value. So it turns out that the maximum is just the value itself. When n equals 2, if you go back to the formula, you will see you will get 2 times, hey, this is my mistake. I just caught it. This is an n minus 1. Should have an n minus 1 right there. So when n is equal to 2, you'll have 2 times xn. 2 times xn is a line, and that looks like this. Notice that the area underneath all of these is still 1. And let's do one more. So this one here corresponds to the largest of two uniform 0, 1s. Then if you go back here and look at the largest of three uniform zero ones, you'll have 3 times xn squared. Well, 3x squared is a parabola. It looks something like that. So there it is for n equals 3. And your intuition is just right here. As your number of observation goes up, the, ma the distribution of the maximum gets its density pushed out here towards 1, and that's why you see these curves increasingly um, having a, uh, um, eventually will, will all, all of the uh, probability density will be right around 1. In Apple, there are two solutions. Set x to a uniform 0, 1 random variable. y can be found by using the maximum iid function. Likewise, here is a second solution in Apple. X is a uniform random variable between 0 and 1. And you can use the order statistic function where the first argument gives you the population distribution. The second observation tells you the um, number of samples that are taken, in this case n. And the third argument 
tells you the order statistic of interest, which in this case is the nth or the largest.